Glad to here with Jamie Joss from Hayberry. Uh, how's the tour been going so far? It's been great. It's been uh, way better than I expected. You know, haven't been on a full U.S. tour in over a year. And all we have out right now is a covers album, so we didn't really know what to expect. And it's been killer. Every show's been packed. And the response has been great. Uh, now, the lineup, was this handpicked by you guys? Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're doing two legs of this, so... This first leg, you know, decimation, decimation of the nation, part one. Um, we had a, you know, a lot of submissions, but we really felt like these bands were, you know, all doing something really good in their own subgenre of aggressive music. So, you know, between Hot Toxic, Fetus, Winds, and Chimera, you got all different crowds, and then we have our crowd, so it's great. And then on the part two run, when people hear about that lineup, it's going to be, they're going to just be blown away because it's probably the most brutal tour we ever did, so or, or ever planned to do. So that starts <laughs> November 6th in Cleveland. And that's going to be cool. Is that going to be like, is this like secondary and that's going to be major? Or yeah, yeah. Any word on who's on that? Yeah, I can't yet. say <laughs> yet, but man, are people going to be blown away when they hear. Okay. Uh, as you said, the lineup being diverse, um, considering the diversity of the lineup and the current separation between like metalheads and the deathcore kids and stuff. Um, as far as you've noticed, has there been any fighting issues amongst the crowd? Yeah, I mean, at a Hayfree show, it's expected that there's going to be uh, a couple brawls, but uh, this tour's been pretty peaceful, other than last night in Reno, it was like, we had to end the show early, and it was like a riot outside, and a lot of people got arrested, ambulances and stuff, but we try to tell everybody, just be cool to the end, you know, so we can come back and play. Hopefully we'll be allowed back in Reno, but you know, all you can do is say, you know, Stop fighting and if security doesn't have it under control, what can you do? Yeah. Alright. Now, uh, Golden Gods, you guys took part in that earlier this year. Um, how did you feel about being part of that? That was cool to be asked to do that, you know, especially because there wasn't really any band kind of representing crossover, you know, no one really representing hardcore metal. So, uh, you know, that was really cool that they asked us to do it. You know, I, I mean, we never played with Megadeth, so that was right there. That was like a dream come true, just being able to share the stage with them. Okay, and do you think that was something that long overdue for the U.S.? Yeah, I mean, I've hosted the metal, you know, the metal awards in uh, metal Hammer awards in uh, England, and I've been to other award shows, you know, outside of the states, and yeah, it definitely was long overdue. Now, the cover album for the Lions uh, was that just something you guys always wanted to do? Well, we had done it, like, back in 06. We added extra songs, you know, at the end there when we realized it was actually going to come out. But, uh, yeah, it's just like making a mixtape for a friend, you know what I mean? Like, if you were, if you, if you took it back, you know, 10, 15 years and you wanted to make a tape for somebody or make a CD for somebody, we just thought of it like that, you know? Like, how could we make something cool for the fans that ties them over until the studio album comes out in six months? And how were the songs chosen? Just threw around a lot of ideas, argued a lot, you know, thought, what, you know, what can we do that's, you know, that we can make our own and still have be very heavy. And that was it. Nothing too crazy, you know. With Wayne rejoining the band, it was cool to be able to go back and do, like, Slayer and Suicidal and Bad Brains and Black Flag. So that, those ended up being extras on the record. It's like 18 tracks. Okay. Now, um, on to the new album. You guys are... Uh you said you're laying down some solos this time uh, because Wayne's back in the band. Uh, is there any fear of backlash uh, similar to like what Throwdown experienced because it was too metal? No, because our fans are so diehard. We can't really be compared to a band like that just because it's we're, we've we've surpassed all that like back in the day. You know, I mean, like when we put out Perseverance. We shut everybody down. That was like, you know, a naysayer. And since then, our records have only gotten heavier. Whereas, you know, like, I think with a band like Throwdown, they just completely changed the sound 100%. It just sounded like a different band. You know, which I don't think was necessarily a bad thing. You have to progress as a band. Like, I liked uh, the record, but I mean, you're alienating what built you that far. So, in hopes to gain, you know, I don't know, maybe more like Pantera type fans, but, um, you know, for us, 
it's still hate breed. The identity's there. When people hear the record, they're just going to be, you know, pleased with it. You know, the, the identity and the formula and everything's still intact. 